What's going on guys? So I just got back from the Adirondack Mountains where I was ice fishing and I uh, was up there for a few days with Elias and Rich of Fishaholic Fishing. And the fishing was tough up there. It wasn't as good as we hoped, but we still did catch some fish and some nice fish and uh, still want to share the experience with you guys. So uh, basically we drove all night and got up there early morning and uh, the wind was very strong the first day, which you will see here, but uh, yeah, this is day one. All right, we made it. We got our sleds ready to go. The lake is here. Lake trout are out there. We got this upgrade to my sled here, drilled some holes. We got the rod holders going. Very happy about this situation that we have going on right now. It's gonna be a very good day. The wind may ruin the audio at times, which I am a little... Yeah, usual stuff, I guess. But uh, we're gonna get out there and start fishing. All right, the plan is we're gonna walk about a mile out into this lake. Might as well just tell you we're fishing Lake Champlain. It's a freaking 100 mile long lake. And uh, we got this pressure crack that we are going to cross, goes down the lake, potentially all the way to Canada. Six inches of snow on the ground. Eh six inches of snow all right let's see what's up with this crack damn elias isn't even dragging anything all right all right all right well we have made it out to the zone that we're gonna fish we're starting to drill some holes probe around taking some time try to find some ledges and we got probably like four, 15 inches of ice and uh 25 feet of water elias says thousand inches of ice all right well i'm gonna get my rods going here and then uh keep you guys updated all right guys we got uh i got three rods out with some uh minnows I don't know, we got this place pretty locked in right now with baits. Uh, the wind died down temporarily, which is nice. Very beautiful scenery here in the Adirondack region. And we're fishing shallow water. We're fishing like 20, uh, well, I'm fishing 22 feet of water right now. Got like 25 foot flat out there. Comes up into, I don't know, 13 feet right over here. And that's shallow for lake trout. Yeah, we're really not used to fishing this shallow for lake trout, but I don't know. Lake trout is the goal though. We're not really fishing for pike or perch. I don't know. We might run into we might run into anything out here. Who knows? But so I'll keep you guys updated. It's cold out, the batteries are gonna be dying. So I'm gonna keep the camera off for a while, turn it on for a while. Try to keep the action going here. So here we go, first fish. Laker. Yep. First Laker of the day right there. Wish I could have got it on video. I saw him on the screen. I tried to turn it on, but we got him. 25 feet of water, 23 feet of water. First first mark he actually ate, so that's good. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Woo, there's a Laker. Yeah, that's an all right lake, lake trout right there. Kai Tech. Kai Tech. I got a waxworm on there. But I mean, don't matter. I don't know if it matters. Yeah, but that's a beauty. Ah, uh, nah. nah he's not bad. No, he's nice, man. Fat. Like, look at how fat he is. <sighs> all right. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Yeah, with the GoPro and everything, yeah. All right, good? Yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna release first Laker. Yeah, Bye. I'll take it, man. Yeah. Fought good. Yeah, nice fish, actually. Nice Not fish, bad. nice fish. Kai Tech. on the bottom or retrieving? Uh, just like five, six feet off the bottom. We're in there, baby. All right, I've been changing up the lures here a little bit. That was the first like bona fide lake trout mark. I knew it was a lake or he came, you know, he came up off the bottom real fast. So, oh, we might have another one. 
Yeah, I think we got another... Uh, see the corruption on my screen? Yeah, it's corruption on my screen. All right, well, yeah, first fish. So that's what I'm using right there. That is a Kitek. All right, I got a waxworm tipped on there. You know, sometimes a little bit of scent goes a long way with the Lakers. So, yeah, I got 22, 23 feet of water here. So you see me using this rod. This is a long rod. This is not really an ice fishing rod. This is like a five foot, yeah, five foot ultralight. I'm using this just because like uh, usually uh, I fish a little deeper water for these Lakers and uh, to get a good hook set, you know, longer rod makes all the difference in getting a good hook set out of deep water I'm using mono with a lot of stretch. But this shallow water, I could definitely be using a smaller rod, but I don't know what we're going to encounter out here. So I'm using this for now. All right, hopefully we get another, another fish to come through. Jaw jacker, jaw jackers run in line. Oh, Run in line, dude, zipping. Wow. Could be a. Come on, salmon. Let it be a salmon. Yeah. He zipped drag real nice. I'm testing the jaw jackers hook set ability. Let's see. Close. Jaw jacker stuck him. Stuck, nice fish. Uh, yeah. Feels good. Yeah, yeah. Like, geez, man, it's a ripping drag. He was ripping earlier. Yeah. There's so many fish in the hole over there, dude. You should drop your camera down there. Really? See what they are. Yeah. All right. Go for it. Yeah. It seems like uh, well, you got you have you had one in that hole over there and another one here. Yeah, they're around. I mean, I think they're coming and going on the screens. Yeah, they're around. Well, there he is, Laker. Nice one. Oh, got him. Dang, man. Lop lamprey mark, yeah. That's Two lamprey nice marks. Junk right there. Oh, he's missing his. Dude, he's all messed up, too. dude. He is all messed up. That is. That's a, that's a that's stockfish. That's why. Exactly what we came here for. That's... He's missing an eye. He's missing, oh, like. Send him a, take him to Jersey, man. That's yeah. That's your thumbnail, thumbnail right there. More, more zombie. zombie lake, lake trout. Lake. All right, second laker of the day. Nothing crazy except other than the fact that he's missing peck fin. He's got lamprey marks. He's missing an eye. He's a warrior. Mm. They're pretty tough. They're, the toughest They're tough, man. He's got so many scars. They're the toughest of all the traps. Yeah, he's good to go. All right. Weightless. I had that weightless right there. Weightless treble hook with a little hunt minnow. All right, let's get back out there. All right, so I wish I could have brought you guys more jaw jacker videos this winter, but uh, just wasn't meant to be. But I'm using a very small treble hook with a hunt minnow. These were $7.50 a dozen, these little hunts. I'm just tail hooking. Hands are really cold right now. Lightly tail hooking. All right, we got this jaw jacker. And I've been using no weight here, kind of targeting salmon. I know that lake trout too will, uh, you know, hit this thing closer to the surface as that one just did. I had that thing about eight to 10 feet down, close to 10 feet under the ice. It's 23, 24 feet of water here. Oh, yeah, we got this thing set 10 feet down. And let's see, this jaw jacker is kind of like in a bad place here. I can see on my screen though, yeah, the thing's 10 feet down, so that's good. On, just, cr just cracked one. Didn't even see him on the screen. Oh, there he is under the ice. Oh, he's nicer. Nicer, nicer, nicer. Dang, he's pretty nice. Oh yeah. Come on, come on, come on. 19 feet of water. This fish hit 19 feet of water. Definitely the nicest I've ever got through the ice right now. 25 inches is the nicest I've ever got through the ice. This one looks like he's 26, 27. Potentially eight, nine pounds. Come on in through the hole, Laker. Oh, this one hit a spoon. 
with a shiner head. Come on. Yeah. Oh. He's hooked pretty good, so got that going for us. Alright, let's try to get him. Oh, come on, come on. He doesn't want to do it. Come on. Oh. That's a nice one. Sick fish. Sick fish. I'm going to measure them. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got here. I don't think he's going to get back down this hole. Yeah, that's a healthy fish. 27. Oh, relax, man. 28, 29. Uh, he's 28 and three quarters. He's just under 29 inches. That's my PB lake trout right there. He hit this freaking glow spoon that I painted. All right, here we go. We're going to release him 29 inch. That's all oh, 28 and three quarter inch. That's my PB right there. Okay, let him go. He is good to go. That fish. Out of there. All right, man. It's on, man. Champlain's kind of legit. That's the third fish. This wind is killing this video, I know, but all right, so we're just kind of uh, tipping the jig with a shiner head, which is uh, the way that I usually fish for these fish, these lake trout. I'm trying to pick like a smaller minnow here. This one will be good. All right, we're going to go take them to the jig. Just hooking it through looking at firmly like through the head and kind of just pinching you know so that we got some scent on there all right and I can use this for the next bait check my line line feels good all right let's drop back down let's see if we can get another one that's my uh, personal best lake trout probably right there close pretty much tied PB I don't know biggest I ever got through the ice he's actually got a fish yeah, oh, really? it's taking line. It's taking line. Taking line. It was taking line. It was taking line. Probably Unless your sinker was just falling. No, that's a fish. Yeah, yeah. Got him. That's something. It's not good. Oh! oh. <laughs> By the skin of his teeth. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's one. Laker. There he is. Bam. On. Rip and drag, dude. Rip and drag. Oh my god. Damn, dude. He's zipping, zipping, zipping. Like, n oh my god. Zipping crazy, zipping crazy, dude. This fish just took like 30 yards of line. Zipping like crazy, dude. That was crazy. That's why we're fishing for lake trout, man. That fish. I don't know, man. That fish right there. Right Haven't seen him yet. He's been on for a while, dude. He ran like 30, 40. Oh, yeah? He got. He ran like 30, 40, yard, 30, 40 feet of line, like on the hook set. Dang, man. That looks like a heavy fish. It's feeling good. Like, ha I haven't I don't seen it. will fit through that hole. That looks like a pretty heavy fish. Yeah? Yeah, I, I can totally tell. It's really heavy. You can't even move him. No. He's close. He's close. Brown? Salmon? Brown salmon? I saw him on the screen. I saw, like, he, he came up. Oh, drum. Could be a drum. I think it's a Laker. We draw more holes if it's a drum. I think it's a Laker, yeah. Dude, he is not. You got six pounds? Eight. Oh, you got eight. Big Laker. Big Laker, man. Yeah. Dang, man. This is why you need a spud bar, just in case. Oh, we ain't spudding through 15 inches of ice, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't think. How are we going to open it up? We'll worry about that when we when we get to it, when we get there. All right. No. Oh, there he is. Oh, he snagged. That's oh, why. Oh, okay. That Damn. Okay. Okay. Now it makes that sense. Damn it. snagged in the back. 
typical man typical every every trophy fish i catch is freaking snagged oh, yeah, yeah gonna... all right screw you guys screw you guys damn man i thought this was a freaking big one this is gonna be impossible getting this thing through the freaking hole hopefully it pops off Got his tail out of the water. There we go. All right, that's a good fish though. Even though he's snagged in the tail, unintentionally snagging, still kind of counts. Oh, crazy man, crazy. All right, here we go. Release, release the lake trout. All right. All right, guys, well, that concludes day one. Uh, we left the lake a little early because of the wind. You know, the wind was relentless, and we were tired from not sleeping on the drive up. So uh, we stayed up a few more days, and stay tuned for more videos.